Welcome to the infernal brotherhood of the scruffy looking nerve herders. Today I'm reading Star Wars Chewbacca number one. I would like to take a moment and invite you to support this channel through memberships and apparel. And don't forget to subscribe to this channel and ring that damn bell. In the 1999 novel Star Wars The New Jedi Order of Vector Prime, Chewbacca died heroically during a conflict with the extragalactic Yuzhan Bong. The miniseries, published shortly afterward, dealt with the fallout of his death. Star Wars Chewbacca number one, chapter one, Malatopuk or a Wookiee romance, chapter two, Adichituk or a father's sorrow, chapter one, I remember the first time I saw him, translated from Shriwuk. It was a reckless show-off jump made over a needlessly long distance. It was flirting with death, an utterly childish thing to do. Psst. But it was done so impeccably, and so magnificently. It was then that I knew Chewbacca had to be mine. It's hard with the boys though, before they're 100, all they seem to be interested in are mechanics, astro-navigation, and space flight. You're looking at my cousin Mala? Ah, what's the use, Jowdal, when Chewbacca doesn't look back? You know what you should do? My mother always says, drop a Rashir louse on the Wookiee you like, and it'll be yours forever. Just like that? Well, no. First, you drop it. Then, you offer to groom his fur clean by way of apology. You never forget the first fur you groom. My mother always says. Nah. How silly we are when we are young. I remember agonizing over him that whole day. Harvesting lice thinking about Chewbacca, wondering what to do, harvesting, imagining, grooming his fur, trying to decide, harvesting, fantasizing, agonizing, deciding. You plan to spend the winter inside that power core, Chewbacca? Let me take a look. You can take the core too. It will power no more. Pop! Huh? Laos syrup? <laughs> Do you know what this means, Dryanta? Somebody up there really likes you. Yeah? I missed. I hit the wrong guy. What should I do? <laughs> Come on, let's hide deeper in the forest. Was it Malatabuk? Wow! Come on! She's supposed to groom your fur now! This is embarrassing! Now what? What should I tell Dryanta? Well, you can always tell him I dropped the louse. I wouldn't mind. Let me... Trandoshan slavers! Run, Jowdal! Get out! Get help! Chewbacca! Dryanta! Trandoshans of Mala! Quick! He's done for! My heart stopped at that moment. But I shouldn't have doubted my magnificent mate. Kill him! Fire! Fire! It's lost its charge! Earlier when we... Oh, he was a sight to behold. Such strength, such skill, such fury. Such grace. 
Trandoshans are fair athletes themselves. Their leader thought to save himself, not realizing it was already too late for that. Are you all right, Maltovac? Of course I'm all right. I never needed your help. It was then that he realized what I'd already known. Everything else was just a matter of time. He was gone for years, but he came back. He came back whenever he could to see me and our son. We didn't have that much time together, but I'm not complaining. I know that one day we'll be together again. It's just a matter of time. Chapter 2 of known pain. I'm a Wookiee. I've seen my share of hand-to-hand -hand combat, and I was wounded and tortured by the Empire. I've buried friends, and I've buried family. Enough to remember the forest fire and Roshir trees screaming in pain. But this pain dwarfs all others. It's heartbreaking. Terrible. No parent should ever be forced to bury his own child. But this is not what you come to hear. You, sir, that whatever you choose to relate. You've come to record a fitting memorial for a warrior. So let me tell you about Chewbacca, the warrior. Hey, Chewbacca! But first, I must tell you something about Tojavuk. We have to talk, Chewbacca! It's unfortunate for a Wookiee to be born an albino. Maltovak is to be my bride! If she chooses so. White fur stands out against green and brown and black. It's the color of an easy prey. It used to be that white furred cubs were left in the wilderness, so their fear would be short. She has no say in this. She will eat of my Quillerat. Fine. Not anymore now. We help them adapt. Fine, says he. Tojavu had no reason to be bitter. But it isn't fine, Chewbacca. She's avoiding me. She has eyes only for you. Yet he was. Is it a fight you seek, Tojavuk? Is it a fight I seek? asked he. Yes! Snip, snip! Tojavuk, claws are not to be used in a fight. It's dishonorable! Dishonorable, say they. But is it really dishonorable or merely reasonable? Look at them. Look at these fine instruments nature gave us. And why? To forever scratch tree bark with them? To pick an occasional morsel of food from between our fangs? You can't be serious. These are meant for one thing and one thing only. For gut spilling! Arrgh! Ah, very good, Chewbacca, very good. Still, not good enough! A stalemate, would you say? Well, almost. Arrgh! But I have four limbs, all of them armed. Haven't you gone too far, Tojavuk? We don't like their family any more than you do, but we could get prosecuted for this. Too far, say you. There is no such thing as too far. I'm showing you the way of the true Wookiee nature. Laws have made us weak. Civilization has made us into prey. Be not afraid of your nature, and the universe shall be ours. Huh? Where is he? Where is my prey? Over here! Are you running away, coward? We'll see who's a coward. Follow me! 
if you dare. It was always a joy to watch my son leap. For a moment, I hoped Tojavuk would back off, show fear. But no, that would be too easy. Very good, Tojavuk. Very good. Still, not good enough. Let go of me! Let me go! The trees here on Kashyyyk go down for kilometers, and nobody ventures into the lower levels. Nobody wants to come back. Now imagine falling into something like this. Let me go! Let me go! Let me... Huh? <laughs> Imagine falling all the way down. <laughs> down where the dangers crave the smell of blood and are much larger than your claws. Ow! <laughs> Thump! Down where having white fur is not a good idea. I waited until deep in the night for Chewbacca to return. These days, when I can't sleep, which is often, these days I imagine him like that, returning victoriously. They told me he died in a quake, that a falling moon killed him. But how can a quake kill a Wookiee warrior? How can a mere moon be a match for my son? Thank you all for tuning in. We invite you to like this video, subscribe to this channel, and click the bell to get notified about our next video. Until the Infernal Brotherhood convenes again, my fellow scruffy-looking nerf herders, may the Force be with you.